Well, hi everyone, and welcome to another Thought for the Day. It's great to have you here. I'm just going to uh, read from the Bible. Uh, I'm going to read from uh, Matthew chapter 5 and verse uh, 21, and it's actually entitled in my, in my Bible, Murder. But the actual theme I want to think about today, or the reflection, will be actually uh, on the emotion called uh, anger. It says this, You have heard it, that it was said to the people long ago, Do not murder, and anyone who murders will be subject to judgment. But I tell you that anyone who is angry with his brother will be subject to judgment. Again, anyone who says to his brother, Raka, is answerable to the Sanhedrin. But anyone who says you fall will be in danger of the fire of hell. Therefore, if you are offering your gift at the altar and there remember that your brother has something against you, leave your gift there in front of the altar and first go and be reconciled to your brother. Then come and offer your gift. Amen. Well, the word, as I say, I want to focus in on uh, today is actually the word anger. And that uh, can be found in verse uh, 22, where it says, But I tell you that anyone who is angry with his brother. Well, when I look this up in the commentaries uh, here, the actual word anger uh, can be uh, represented or can mean, should I say, seething, brooding uh, and bitterness. When I saw the word brooding, I have to be have to say as someone who's uh, uh, brought up three teenagers that word brooding uh, resonated with me and I'm sure uh, many parents out there who've had teenagers or have got teenagers will know exactly uh, what I, I mean. But this uh, emotion, uh, uh, anger, can actually be really destructive uh, and it can threaten to leap out of control. And there's none of us uh, watching this or listening that can say that they have never experienced that emotion. We've all uh, found ourselves in that situation where we've become really upset, whether it's we feel that we've been treated unfairly or we're just really angry or frustrated with someone or a group of people or, or a situation. And suddenly uh, we find we cannot control how we are feeling. And then it just all kind of gushes uh, out. I have to admit the Whittam clan, that's what I'm part of. We are known for our, our hot headedness at times. Uh, and so we are quite emotional kind of, uh, of people. Uh, and therefore we have to often, well, I certainly have to often sort of keep myself uh, in check. A good example, I suppose, of when um, our emotions can get out of control is, is emails. I wonder how many of us have sent an email that we have regretted or have received an email uh, and thought, oh my goodness, there's a lot of uh, anger uh, there in that email. Over the years, I, I have known of various uh, people in various churches that are very, were very good at sending emails out. There was one particular person, I won't say it was, many, many years ago now, um, but uh, who was used to write some amazing emails, but occasionally <laughs> they would let this emotion, anger, get a little bit control of them and would send something out. And we'd all sit again, uh oh, not good. I learned very quick in my uh, ministry uh, that when we write a, uh, an email in anger or frustration, it's wise not to send it straight away. It's perhaps wise to go and have a cup of tea or a cup of coffee and just calm down a bit and perhaps come back in an hour or so and then reread it and we will probably completely rewrite it or not send it at all. So uh, this emotion anger can be quite destructive and that's just a mild example of course of what anger can do. But when people become angry with other people or bitter uh, and twisted about something, it can also uh, you know, become violent, can't it? And often we will see that uh, on, on the news. And I think we've seen quite a lot of that uh, recently where people have become so angry about some things that uh, occasionally it's uh, moved into uh, violence. So this, emo uh, this emotion anger is not necessarily a, a good thing. Of course, we can have righteous anger, don't get me wrong. 
we can rightly become angry about how certain people are, are treated or if we see an, an injustice uh, in, in society uh, it's nothing wrong with feeling angry and an emotion about that and that's probably a good thing because it motivates us perhaps to do uh, something uh, about it but quite often anger is not necessarily a, a good thing and as a Christian anger can stop us I believe stop uh, developing uh, a spiritual uh, spiritual life it, it can uh, scupper that it can it can move against it it can stop us from perhaps drawing closer to God because we are so angry or feeling so uh, bitter uh, about a person or a situation or whatever it might be so therefore it is an antidote against spiritual growth and it is something that we as Christians should seek to control uh, and actually uh, fight uh, against uh, in our lives. It's not good. And over the years of Christian ministry and over my entire life, I have seen how it has twisted and bent people's hearts and minds to the point where they have drifted uh, uh, away from God. God, I believe, wants us to be self-controlled in our actions but i believe also he wants us to go a little bit further he not only wants us to be self-controlled when it comes to our emails perhaps but it also about our thoughts you know it is from our minds and our thoughts and our emotions that these words come out of our mouths or our physical actions uh, come about and therefore perhaps it's best right there in our in our minds and, and in our hearts and in our emotions that we perhaps need to uh, demonstrate some kind of self-control and I think part of that can start with having a forgiving spirit you know people will do things that will upset us and we will find injustice against us but if we just react in anger and frustration verbally or in our physical actions then it's not going to resolve the situation. I believe that an antidote to anger is having a forgiving heart and mind. And not only does it often heal uh, that uh, situation with a, a kind reaction rather than an angry reaction, a more kind of conciliation sort of reaction by saying, look, oh, sorry I've upset you, um, and so on, uh, can often lead to uh, the healing of that situation and forgiveness but not only does it uh, often bring healing into that situation it can also bring healing uh, into our own lives because if we become angry and bitter and cannot forgive in the end really we're often the ones that suffer not the persons who we are actually angry against. Quite often when I've confronted someone uh, that they've upset someone and, and made them angry, they say, really? I didn't realize that. Or, well, I didn't actually mean that to be the case. And yet the person who's angry and bitter has been churning it over for, for months and even years in some cases uh, and causing more harm to themselves while the other person perhaps isn't even aware uh, of that situation. So not only can it bring healing into that situation, it can bring uh, healing into our own hearts. So I want to encourage us all uh, not to be angry or bitter, but to be forgiving and loving and go uh, the extra mile. And if we do find ourselves on that computer about to send that email because we're so, so angry, stop and go and have a cup of tea. Amen. Well, I'm just going to finish this time uh, with a, a, a short prayer. Let's uh, let's pray. Gracious Heavenly Father, we do thank you for uh, your words in Scripture and your great wisdom, particularly when it comes to that emotion uh, of anger. So often, Lord, all of us uh, can find ourselves frustrated and, and angry. And I just pray, Lord, that you will give us great wisdom. And I pray for a spirit of forgiveness and a spirit of calmness in my life and in all of our lives, particularly those who are listening to this thought of the day. Help us therefore, Lord, rather than bringing bitterness or anger into a situation, help us to bring love, peace, harmony and a caring spirit. Help us not to be people who seek to get uh, our own uh, uh, get uh, our own back on other people but be people 
who are willing to uh, just care no matter what the situation we find ourselves in. And help us to be reminded, Lord, of when we are angry or when we are bitter or when we want to point the finger. Let us remember, Father God, that your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, was the greatest example to us all who gave his life upon that cross because he knew he had to, because he recognised that we are sinful, fallen people. And it is only through his sacrifice towards us and his love towards us that we can now have a relationship with you in heaven. Help us therefore to be reminded of what Christ did for us and to remember, Lord, that when we point a finger at someone else, there are three pink fingers pointing back at ourselves. And so therefore, Father God, I just pray for your blessing upon every single one of us now. In your holy name. Amen. Well, God bless uh, to you all, and I do wish you uh, a good rest of the day. Amen.